the Pedro mm -hmm. and this is Matthew. We are going to show you a little bit about TikiWiki structures, why some wiki pages at the site can be like handled together to produce like wiki books so that it's easier to produce documentation of features or whatever pages that can be together and after that it can be exported into a single HTML so that you can use it with your favorite editor like OpenOffice or whatever else to produce your document for the printer, whatever PDF or any other format. Great, I can't wait to find out more. Okay, so we, for that we can use, uh, for instance, like uh, the same as a sample, like uh, a very you know, short structure. We have a doc tikiwiki.org about tutorials. It's not that far. I mean, we could use like the full tikiwiki documentation, which is a very huge structure, which which we used last year to produce the wiki documentation, 950 pages, yeah. but it would take a long time. And we will do the same procedure with tutorials, which it's just a very tiny amount of maybe less than 10 pages, mm -hmm. and uh, have the, the full procedure. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, sounds great. So, first of all, we have to log in there. Um, in order to produce a category you have to need you need to have the permission to create categories yeah uh, so I'm going to log in now as a user with admin permissions to use categories to modify categories and all that stuff yeah but if you don't find that in your tiki site then you have to go to permissions read permission documentation and the tiki add permission to edit the structures like okay it. so now okay. we, we will not have to handle that because we are going to log in with plenty of admin uh, permissions. Yeah, otherwise. So, during going in, like a user with admin permissions there in the site. And, uh, mm, like, structures, as I said, is like Wikibooks. There are thousands of pages here. Yeah. But we can easily, like, take out all the pages related to the same concept or to the same thing, like now tutorials. Uh, we can have a look for instance, let's see, we can, first we, we go to see the tutorial page, the first page for tutorials, yeah. and then we'll have a look what's, what's that in there. Tutor, to, sorry, tutorials. And uh, we'll see, there are some manual links to pages, but also, like for instance, on top of the page, you have something different. You normally you don't have a normal page, it's like that. This yeah. is kind of header. So with an option to add new pages to the wiki book. Yeah. The wiki book is like the common name for a structure. To yeah. understand. So you can add pages here. You can go to edit the structure, or the wiki yeah. book, clicking in that, that icon. Yeah. Or since you are the, the first page, you can keep on going to the next page of the yeah. structure yeah. or the home. Which yeah. is, uh, this is something similar to the dog book way of navigating yeah. uh, structures. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a normal wiki page in a structure. We added here, uh, I don't remember what was that, whether the table of contents of the page or the table of contents of the full structure, we'll see. We are editing and now we see this section, the, the content is just TOC, table of contents. Yeah, so that's what you typed in. Yeah. when you're editing and it produced what we just saw which is the, yes, the table, table of contents all automatically of the structure, of the structure. It, would, it would be different if we typed uh, you know that's something to, to understand some people get some confusion on that if you say make talk then yeah. we'll see this is the table oops table of contents of this page yeah. and here this is the table of Contents of this, oops, structure, structure, like wiki book. So yeah. we'll see what this makes. To see the difference, go down there and click on save. It could have made like minor edit, it's not that big modification, but yeah, we'll save that. So we'll see the content already parsed, already interpreted by the Tiki site. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, so that's what you typed in. And yes, then this is what got added when yeah. you put the. So this is the table of contents of the structure. 
Yeah. So it get all the information of the pages linked into that yeah. book. Yeah. And below you have this is the table of contents of this page. So what you see in here are the the, the headings of this page, not yes. the full structure. Yes. So you, have, you don't yeah you don't have to get uh, confused about that. Yes. So okay for this time and we then will if you really change anything in the page this will automatically be updated. Yes, in the page. And if yeah. you change anything in the structure, any It'll other page, you update, or yeah. yes, you or any other person, uh, yeah. So mm, this. So you've got all yeah. the uh, easy changing abilities of a wiki. But yes. It's nice and structured. Yeah, like in a book. Yes. So they can, you can yeah. change things. There are some other nice things about the table of content of a structure. You could you could change like bullets for numbers, like the legal numbering style. Yeah, so right. one, two, two point one, two point one one, whatever. Adding some parameters to the table of contents. Mm -hmm. You can refer to the documentation to read all details. And that's something you can do there. So that's the main the main page of the documentation. Then here we have some other kind of uh, thing, but it's calling a plugin to list dynamically all the other wiki pages which have the link to tutorial. Yes. So that was the initial way of saying anybody at the TikiWiki documentation just write any page anywhere yeah. and add the link to tutorial so that they don't need to have permissions to edit their structures or they don't need to have any other thing. Just a very simple way. Okay, so if someone had a good example of using something. Yes. They just create a page called Anywhere. a really good example of using it. Yeah, and this and is as long as they tutorial. put a link back to yes. the tutorial. Yeah, then it will be listed here. It will then be listed here. Yeah, and once they get some more uh, experience there or whatever, they will be granted the permission to edit the structure yeah. so that they could be added that page to the structure. What happens when you add a page to the structure that it's easier, for instance, when you have like, you, now you could be working for weeks, months, years, whatever. When you want to produce like a PDF out of that, yeah. or uh, open office document, whatever, to yeah. take it out and paginate, you know, do your page numbering, header, all that stuff, yeah. then there, that is a very easy way to get this content out of here. Uh, let me see, let me see. We have to look for the main application menu uh, in Tiki, which is, yeah, it's called here developer menu, but it's the main application menu in Tiki. Yeah. And under the wiki section, there is, you know, if some users are not used to to navigate the menu, that's different if you click on the name of the the feature yeah. or the folder. You have to click on the folder so that it that opens unfolds. It up. Yeah. But if you tick up. on the name, you then get it, the actual. Yeah, if you click on the name, we'll see what happens. It goes to the feature to the first page of that feature yes. in documentation the first page of the feature is like the, the first documentation page, page so like. yeah but we were not looking for that we were looking for all the options under the wiki yeah. we have like here structures and multiple prints we'll start having a look at structures yeah. to see how can we manage and change pages from places from here to there or, whatever, or adding yeah. new pages in a place from a centralized point of view, yeah. and after that we'll go to multiple print, which is the easiest way, easiest way to get content, either ten or hundreds of pages in a order yeah. for your document. So let's go to structures. So any user having that permission to edit structures will see that yeah. there. We see all the structures at documentation, which right now are most of them documentation in several languages plus tutorials, which yeah. is not translated yet. Yeah. And, and what was there on top? Yeah, if there were many, you could look for structures in yeah, languages. It's, it's, yeah. Like, when that list gets really long, you need yeah, other ways yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. sorting so, through. Yeah. So we go for tutorials. We, we could go uh, to look at the structure and keep um, um, editing it, uh, which is either clicking on the name or Clicking here is doing the same, yeah, the same action. The, like the edit, edit, button, edit yeah. it. Yeah, we'll do that right now. Yeah. But before doing it, when we click here, we go to see the structure, like the, the all the pages from the first page. Yeah. We will go to the same page as before. Then we 